The Sonoma County is my favorite place in, in California. We are about an hour north of San Francisco, and we are on the west part of the Napa County. The influence of the Pacific Ocean regulates the temperature between day and night. The topography provides for me many, many microcrues. What, what is a microcrue? It's a different type of soil with a different elevation, different exposition. And each microcrue provides a different energy in the grapes. This is why I decided to make a Verite wine in Sonoma County. The first conversation I had with Jess was very clear. We spoke about quality. We spoke about the best wine in the world, especially Bordeaux, Variedal. And after my different visit on his terroir and different vineyards he owned, he asked me if I could make a, a, a great Bordeaux blend as good as the best in the world. And of course I said, it's possible, especially in Sonoma County. Every year when we work on the blends and we need to create three final blends at the end, it's very important for us to make sure that the signature of Le Muse is there at the end and the signature of La Joie and the signature of Le Désir. Of course, there's the vintage variation, which we see a little bit less of here in California compared to Bordeaux, but it is very important that we keep the signature. And it isn't just one estate around one chateau. It is many, many, many different micro crews all over Sonoma County, from Bennett Valley to Chalk Hill to Knights Valley to Alexander Mountain Estate. And the wines are very complex. We have so many different lots to work with that it could be easy to almost miss that signature. It's not about making just a great, good wine. It's about keeping the signature from year to year. You know, La Muse with the Merlot, always thinking about the beautiful right bank Pomerols, or La Joie, the Pauillac style left bank, or Le Désir, more inspired by Saint-Emilion but always never forgetting we're in Sonoma County.